In a time where the Chicago Bulls were just ending at least a half decade of dominance under the flag of MJ. A time where I myself would not even be out of grade school for another four and a half years. A time before terrorist attacks were imminent and a time before two wars, a housing market collapse, a recession and a transition from having a surplus in the late 90s to owing the world countless dollars would turn the United States of America from a striving nation to one that needed to reach deep down in order to find itself once more. A time before the internet blew up and a time before YouTube even existed. A time before the safe system, gameplay, and cameras of this very game would be considered far outdated. A time where the legendary phrase shotgun rain wouldn't be coined for at least another 12 years. It was this game that I had first thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool to watch someone play this or games like this on my TV when I was 10 years old, not realizing how ironic this very thought would be nearly 11 years later when I started doing something similar to that on YouTube, and even more so two and a half years after that when I had started doing the very same game that I thought would be cool to see other people play. It's been years and years since I had played this game last, so I'm bound to be at least a little bit rusty. But as with every game, we'll get through it one way or another. This game is Resident Evil 2, and that has been my intro, and I hope you enjoyed that. As for the game, we're doing Resident Evil 2, in case you didn't know. Just, just letting you know. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's special stars here immediately began investigation of the Experiments. We got here. Guys, a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. 
Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. I'll meet you there. Okay. And thus we're kind of pushed out on our own. It's been quite a while since I played this game and uh don't remember exactly everything and I'm probably going to get uh kind of kind of raped here just a just a tad bit but as I recall at least the the best uh best thing to do is just kind of run past these guys real quick so you can zigzag up ahead and there you go let's run past all these guys at first and then you can pretty much save a shit ton of ammo and avoid a lot of conflict as you probably guessed I had to run to that uh, save room real quick just in case and I think we can stand here for like forever and you can just do like 360s here and nothing happens like you know you can raise our gun but you take one step inside this motherfucker's shop he is ready to Who? bust your ass what are you doing here hold your fire i'm a human <sighs> sorry about that I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. Hold on, let me lock this door. I don't have a clue. Well, there's a fucking window well, right I next to us. I noticed something was wrong. The entire city was infested with zombies. You know, you'd think a gun shop would have one of those, like, little pull-down shutter guys. You know, you'd think. But I guess not. So once you take anything in here... Let's go ahead and pick up. You know, these gun bullets look pretty cool, right? Let's let's take these bullets. Oh no! How could they have possibly have come through the window that you can see through? I have no idea how this has happened. This is this is shocking to me. So I'm gonna kill these guys. Cause I want that shotgun. So yes, I did run past a shit ton of zombies just to waste a bunch of ammo on these douches. Alright, I think he fell down. Okay, if I can check... Oh, oh, yep, one of them's, one of them's still alive. Alright, alright, alright. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Shit, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough... I'm just gonna take these. I actually don't know if there are any more bullets in here. There might, there might be another thing further down. But, uh... But that'll have to do for right now. So, let's go ahead and combine you guys. Cool. Get rid of that piece of shit knife in a little bit. And we got these guys here. You're like, oh man, they're behind this fence, right? There's, there's no way. There's no way these guys are getting me. Like, this fence is super protective. But the second you fucking walk down this alley and take these bullets, or actually, I think it's after a certain amount of time, but especially after you take those bullets, these zombies are going to be all up in your ass. And you can't run past them. Like, we can we can try and fake them out. Like, come on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But they don't give a shit. They'll just keep coming. So then you pretty much try and uh, knock them down. Shit, 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 shit. Go, go, go. And I think there's one more left in here. He's right over there. But we can obviously fake them out. 
We're on the b-ball court. Break his ankles. Zombie doesn't have shit. Doesn't have shit on me. I don't know if there's even anything over here. Alright. Zombies got bupkis. Absolutely zero on me. Actually, shouldn't be anything here. I keep forgetting. I actually don't know if you can reload <laughs> without going into this menu. Oh, man. But this whole first part is pretty much just... Oh, shit. Hold on. Yeah, okay, you keep moaning over there. There's actually bullets over here. So if I were to just, you know, shoot the shit out of her, jump down here, zig past that guy, zag past that guy, not even care about that motherfucker, and we can get out of here without wasting that many bullets. You see what I'm trying to do here? If I would have shot every one of these stupid ass zombies, look at this, look, look at how many bullets I've been wasting. Not happening. I'm walking past all these people that I can. I'm not sitting around here. Waiting for them. And here, here's a fun fact. There's two zombies in this bus. Kind of got to take care of them. Or, well, one of them we got to kill. You can see him kind of looking down. Oh, there's, there's a zombie down there. Three bullets. Girl zombie, are you kidding me here? All right. Oh, he dove. I got too close. Well, looks like we won't have to worry about him. Damn pause. I keep forgetting to circle. Well, at least I'm doing a PlayStation game now. Now people can hopefully complain less, but I'm sure people are still going to be pointing out the shit that I'm missing. Even the stuff that is somewhat invisible. And I, I hate this freaking part right here. Damn it. I hate this part. Oh. Oh, conveniently. Conveniently. I'm just going to sit back here and just shoot. I'm not even going to... Probably be better than Try and knock some of the holy shit. Mm. Uh, 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 zigzag, zigzag. Got my zag on. Got my zag on. There we go. So, comparative to last time, I wasted a little bit more ammo, but I end up coming up with uh, with better health. There's, there's two zombies in that little courtyard next to me. Coincidentally enough, if you don't pick up anything before this part, you will see a zombie Brad Vickers down here. Which doesn't really make sense. Because in Resident Evil 3, spoiler alert, he gets killed by Nemesis pretty brutally. And I don't think there would be any way he could come back, even if he was a zombie. Pretty sure his face got, like, torn off or something like that. It was, it was pretty nasty. Good old Brad Vickers, worst fucking helicopter pilot I've ever seen. That guy, I swear. Who the hell gave him a pilot's license? At any rate, as per usual, I'm not going for a good uh, rank in this game, and I'm not going for all that stuff. I'm just going to have fun and complete this eventually. And that is what I want to do. Resident Evil 2 is one of my favorite games ever. I like Resident Evil 1 as well. I'm going to save here. Normally, I wouldn't save here, but I want to get this video going. It's really early in the morning. We'll just uh, save over my initial run to that save room to use the epic music for my opening speech and that is going to be it for me for episode one so hopefully you'll be back for episode two and the rest of them and uh we'll be back in a little bit